How's it hanging, fellow Samoros? And this is another episode of Sackboy, A Big Adventure. And in today's episode, we are, check it out, playing as Kratos. I wish I could zoom in on him, but I can't. That's another thing I've been talking about last episode. Why can't I do, like, my my things in the overworld? Why can't I just jump? Why can't I roll? Why can't I, like, well, I, can't atta I can attack still, but... And why can't I zoom in and do goofy poses? I'd, like, wave you hello every episode if I could. I can't even do the taunts. Or more like the emotes, I guess. Oh yeah, I got the dab emote. Check it out, postal dude. Kind. I mean, my best attempt at postal dude. I got this fucking g hilarious looking gnome. It's meant to be a viking, but it looks like a fucking garden gnome. A new customer! Welcome to Bogov's Emporium of Flotsam and Jetsam. Another fucking merchant character. So, what will it be? Bag of broken TV remotes? Rusty bathtub? Used toothbrush? <laughs> oh, you're here about Vex. That sticky thing. What was I gonna say before this crab showed up? Trouble and taking my goods without paying. <laughs> now he wants to fleece the ocean of its tides. Tell you what, hey, was this I'm level called Sink or Swim? And don't tell anyone, but I like your face. So, here's a freebie. A taster, if you will. Um, a swing my jig. Oh, yes. fuck yeah. That was so fucking dope in Little Big Planet 2, the cook shot. Bro, I fucking want to play Little Big Planet 2, and I fucking have it. Like, I have it for the PS3. Man, I wanna fucking play that game. Fuck, why don't they remaster those fucking old Little Big Planet games along with the third one? They might as well remaster that one. They should make it like... Not a remake, but they should make it where you can... Well, what the hell? They should make it where you kind of have access to all three campaigns from one game. You know, like Little Big Planet Trilogy Remaster. That's what they should just call it. And then you go into the game, and it just simply allows you to play campaigns from all three of the games. I think it'd be quite brilliant, no? It's straight up the same hookshot from the previous games. It was that good. I think I fucked myself a bit. Oh, what the fuck? Now, the Kratos uh, character outfit had an axe in his hand, but... I didn't like the... I don't like my characters holding stuff. Because it looks goofy when you grab something, but you already have a thing in your hand. Well, I found a much better path, though. Damn, I thought I could grab these out of the air. Would be pretty cool. It's not. The Leviathan Axe. Yeah, I did beat in Ragnarok, and I... I don't fucking know what I thought about that game. I liked it. But did I like it as much as 2018? Maybe? I'd have to play, like, both games in kind of, like, a su succession, you know? Like, I beat the first one and immediately moved to the second one. But instead, I beaten the first one when it came out, and then I beat in Ragnarok. Well, not when it came out, but, like, I don't know, a year ago, maybe. I don't know what that other symbol was. Kratos is slaying fucking monsters. I do want to play the... I played God of War 3. I made a let's play out of that. A let's play that I wouldn't call bad, but the, the thumbnails were really fucking ugly. I don't know why I made them ugly. I just kind of came out like that. I think I was trying to recreate the, the font of the God of War logo, but I kind of failed miserably at that. That's kind of what I'm always trying to do with my thumbnails. Uh, it came out looking really fucking shitty. There's also a lot of nudity in that game, I had to censor, so that's an interesting thing I remember about it. 
And I do want to play the 2018 and Ragnarok at some point, but those are like big fucking RPGs. So it'll be quite a challenge to make a let's play out of them. I mean, fucking, why not? I made a let's play out of Skyrim. Give me goodies. Skyrim took me like 300 episodes to be. I, I loved Skyrim. Playing Skyrim, this channel was so much fucking fun. I'd keep, I'd play it for another fucking 300 episodes if I could. Well, what I can't, I, re I mean, I could if I kept installing mods and doing a bunch of shit that I shouldn't be doing. But that's kind of what my let's play ended up being towards the end. I just did a bunch of shit that is like completely optional. I missed it. Such a moron. I was talking about stuff um, that I did recently. Well, I beat in Crash Mind Over Mutants. So now the let's play of that game has much better footage. Because before the footage I have of that game was fucking Garbo. I'll describe it only as, as such, Garbo. That was really, really fucking shitty looking. Oh, hello. Why didn't these get sucked up into my equipment automatically, though? I don't know if I needed that, but whatever. What a lovely soundtrack. I don't know if you can call these water levels, because it's like sort of themed after like underwater. But they're not take they're not underwater themselves. I guess you could call them them. It's like does an under does a water level have to really have you swimming around? Oh with the hook shot it's really easy. Kratos is way too fucking happy. I gotta make him angry. Also, I fucking love Kratos. I see so many polls on Twitter and uh, YouTube, especially. Who's stronger? And Kratos is always on the list of strongest video game characters. Another one is Virgil from Dan uh, Devil May Cry. Oh, come on, it's a bell, but I can't quite get to it. How did I not get damaged? I don't know. Don't question that, fuck it. But I'm like, man, fuck these other characters, Kratos. I know it might be like, I think probably Azura. You know, from Azura's Wrath would probably be the actual strongest video game character. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Kratos. Also, who actually gives a fuck about who's the strongest video game character? Mario. Fucking, I don't know, Sonic. You could probably make a fucking valid argument for that. I just I just said it as a joke, but you could probably fucking say it and actually mean it. Yeah, I always talk about how, oh, I plan to play all the God of War games on this channel. Oh, I plan to start playing Zelda games on this channel. I plan to start playing Nintendo games. You know what, when I move out, my plan for moving out is that, well, obviously, I fucking f I would have to pack up and take a bunch of my shit. An important thing I would have to take is my computer. So I would probably still make some Let's Plays here and there if I have some time, but I don't know, I kind of want to turn my whole life around, start doing completely different things. I ain't gonna quit making, playing video games. I don't know why, but I love this fucking bow on a little chain and how static it is. Something about it. And you can swing around like that, I don't know, that's... I'd like to have something, like, like, physically in real life. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know why. Just looks nice. So, I'm saying all this, like, oh, I'm gonna play all the God of War games, blah, blah, blah. But I don't fucking know if I'm actually gonna deliver on that promise. Also, shout out to, uh... Moja Man, 
who's been commenting under my videos recently a lot. It's nice to see. Also, get angry. Don't be happy. There you go. Oh, damn it, you can't be happy, you're Kratos. Be angry. Fucking, how do I turn angry? Just keep dancing like a goofball. Don't be angry. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Looks so stupid. When the God of War 2018 was revealed at E3 some year, I don't remember which one, I think it was 2016. I love sometimes going back and watching the crowd reaction to it. And all the fucking people just like screaming in excitement. It's very, it's very nice, makes me miss E3. I really do miss E3. Because whatever the fuck we got now is fucking garbage compared to that. They forgot an important fucking part of E3. The ent entertainment value of it. It wasn't just a video game show. It was much more than that. It was like a... Well, a kind of a fucking celebration of video game culture. And pretty much every show featured at least one cringy fucking thing. And it was great, I loved it. You won't be able to reach Vex until you've completed the path through the ocean. At least in this chapter, that fucking line will probably not get annoying because... Uh, not much of a reason to be swinging around there, so fuck it. Yeah, I don't really do much on the weekend, my friends were kinda unavailable, so I kinda didn't do anything. Should I do this, or should I do the level and like kind of finish the episode? I'm gonna do the level, finish it. <laughs> yeah, and... I beat Mind Over Mutant, it sucked. How did you like that swing sack boy? Well, That's fucking awesome! Such an altruist, I've got something else for you! The is this just fucking Mr. Krabs? Except he likes to give out stuff. So I'll need you to collect all the shiny, shiny sort of a greedy restaurant owner. Money. This guy is a merchant. He's still greedy. Uh, but, well, the difference is he's got a different approach. He's actually willing to give me stuff so that I would uh, kind of go along with his whole scheme. It's like when you get a freebie at some store and then it turns out that, oh, you were given the freebie just to kind of lure you in and then make you spend your money. Is that a Team Fortress logo on the back? I wanted to play some TF2 recently because not only did it got a fucking update, not only did it get an update, it also got the issue of bots was fixed. Miraculously, I don't fucking know. I think it was actually mainly the community's doing. Oh, I gotta collect valuables. The hell hit me. Look, I gotta fucking hurry up with these things. I, uh, day at work, I guess. Like to update you on that. It was very boring. We did some marching around, and I heard the, the sergeant that been pissing me off so much. Uh, is leaving for the rest of the week? I hope he's leaving for even longer than just the rest of the week. But it's unconfirmed at the moment. And I wanted to take a week off because my parents were kind of pre pre not really pressuring me into it. it sounds that doesn't sound very nice that they were pressuring me into it. But, well, basically, our whole vacation is kind of dependent on me at the moment because they want to adjust to when I get a vacation. Because my parents can take a day off wherever they want, I not so much. So I have to make sure when I'm gonna take a week off. Also, my friend from work, who I kind of became friends with, uh, 
wants to go to Japan in December. And since I've been to Korea before, we were talking about our travels and stuff. He actually was kind of interested in maybe taking me along with him because he's kind of going with his girlfriend. And I was like, well, I know some girls in Tokyo. I might fucking hang out with them. Why not, right? Sounds fucking wonderful. Who knows, maybe my whole plan of moving out to Korea will change to moving out to fucking Japan. Though I feel like Japan is such a... Um, location where everybody wants to live in Japan. All the weebs want to fucking live there and shit. But I'm not a weeb. Wait, hold on, wait for me. Kato's fucking him up. His bare hands. I always thought that was funny, like in the new God of War game. There's an option to fight you with your bare hands. The new game has a fucking spear weapon, that's really cool. But the best weapon in both these games is still the Blades of Chaos. Or the Blades of Exile, I don't fucking know which ones these are supposed to be. And... And when I was playing the Valhalla DLC to that game, I found out the best strategy for the God of War. You take out Blades of Chaos, and then you, you just repeat the be most basic combo you can. Just keep on repeating it, just same fucking combo, combo over and over. That combo has a very a far reaching attack, meaning that it's very easy to uh, keep enemies at a distance. And in that DLC, which is a roguelike, when you fuck up, you basically start from the beginning. It was very important to me to keep enemies at a distance. I've got it. Damn, that was close. I almost missed that last thing. No way, I would have missed that. Because I could have accessed it from the other side. So yeah, not much to say about work. Don't really have any plans for this week either. This guy reminds me of that, like, fisherman from Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which is also a game I played recently. Oh yeah, I was talking about TF2. So, TF2 is in a really good state right now, at least compared to how it was, I don't know, half a year ago, for example. And I've been meaning to record more episodes of TF2 for the longest time, but I just kind of can't get around to it. I never really find myself... Play dead. Don't be angry. Be pissed off. Fuck, fuck this trophy. I hate it. I don't want it. <laughs> Cover the trophy. I don't want to see it. Wait, can I just walk out of the fucking frame of the picture? I gotta check that next episode. And for some reason, when I go into TF2, the game forces me to play in fucking 1080p. <laughs> Because my, you know, negative screen resolution on my computer is 1080p. I, f I think? Actually, I don't fucking know. But basically, what pisses me off is that for some reason the game doesn't allow me to change the resolution. And no matter what I do, even when I put in the... Even when I put in these, like, special commands before you, the game begins, which is a tip I found on the internet, that if you put in some special commands about height and vertical... And width of the screen it should you could basically make the screen whatever size you want it to be it still doesn't fucking work it's just keep playing in 1080 and what that fucking results in uh, is my game being laggy as all fuck and it pisses me off and i can't fucking fix it and for some reason i also like you might say well change the resolution of your computer screen it might change the resolution of the game too and yeah i can't do that either Though I, I haven't really looked up a solution yet, so I might want to check that out. Yeah, we've beaten two levels. This episode got 19 minutes. Okay, we can do this fucking thing, I guess. Get some money. It's gonna be this time. What the Are fuck is that? Go! 
What? What's this? Oh, it's a mechanic, you fucking spoiled for us. We haven't even really ran into this yet. What's the big thing? You are inspiring. Come to Zoom Zooms for a new outfit to celebrate. Quickly, quickly. It is almost time. Oh, I missed it. Out of time. I'm about to die. Oh, never mind. I'm floating. Just floating in the sky. Cool. Guess if I played four players, I would have gotten a massive amount of money out of that. Which would result in me basically being able to afford whatever I want. Maybe that's why the outfits in this game are so ridiculously expensive. They fought of the prices uh, with four players in mind. I guess that could be it. Nice, alright. Gonna keep on keeping on in the next step. So change my character to Atreus at some point, I guess. I don't fucking know. Doesn't matter really who I play as. I could be playing as default Sackboy for the whole playthrough, but then who would I put on the thumbnails? In the future chapter, we're gonna play as Ratchet and Clank, and there's like three different characters to play as. Ratchet, Clank, who I think looks fucking brilliant in this game because he just straight up looks like Clank. It doesn't look like Sackboy dressed as Clank, it just looks like Clank. Like here you can tell that it's Sackboy dressed as Kratos, obviously. But with Clank outfit, it just straight up looks like Clank. And it's fucking great. Clank has his own uh, spin-off game on PSP. And so did Daxter. Actually, and Daxter and Jack and Clank were... What the fuck did I... <laughs> Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter were these like fucking sister series is going along at the same time kind of with a different team like Jack and Daxter had a much more uh, grounded team like it was fantasy but still it was more grounded while Ratchet and Clank was more sci-fi and shit oh man I never really kept up with either of these series but if I had to I would probably rather play uh, Jack and Daxter that's another series that's on my list of let's plays to do my long and endless fucking list of let's plays to do where most of them I'll probably never fucking do. Like, for example, all the Mass Effect games with all the DLCs. Fucking all the Batman Arkham series games with all the fucking add ons that that game has. Fucking. I don't know what else. I did. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna try to go back into Patapon 3, get those fire weapons I apparently fucking need. And I think after Patapon 3. I'm gonna, f may, I don't know, finish up Dark Souls and then I'm gonna go back to Parapon 3, except this time I'm gonna record the game. Which is cool, I guess. I don't know. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.